Let's start a new GPT session. We're also using uh, GitHub Copilot and uh, GPT-4. Let's start with this uh, vision simulator. Vision simulator. We have a bunch of files on it. Uh, we all, uh, uh, all of our applications are eventually Flask applications. So they will have uh, HTML. This is a uh, HTML, I'll go over it in a sec. We also have uh, JavaScript and then CSS, not much happening. This is and the app Pi, which is the Python code for the Flask application, which is also the one that we use to run the app. And that's what it looks like blur stopped working brightness works okay can you hear my gpu going um peripheral vision loss and color saturation so this will be simulation of a uh, color a uh, vision deficiencies so what it is is controls and simulated conditions the title for this thing we need a description as well let's get to it let's get to it yeah we use both uh, gpt4 and uh, copilot just because the html need the javascript currently we only have one uh, javascript file that's okay to the main uh, the style CSS, the styling file as well. And what are the problems that we are currently having? Yeah, blur stop working is in the error. No errors. Uh, okay, when I develop this application further, we want to make it better. So um, we need to export Band on the explanation of what this web application is all about. Uh, this will be in the HTML front panel. The blur just stopped working. We had it actually working in the previous version of the code. Now changing that controller doesn't actually do anything. Can we check the code and fix this a uh, brightness works okay trust sensitivity also doesn't seem to change anything with the video footage now peripheral vision loss does work however it doesn't look uh, very realistic the black circle around the video footage is too sharp a color saturation works fine so again can we fix those controllers make the model as uh, realistic as possible actually generating code well, updating blah blah, blah 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 let's address the issues facing your vision and burn burn simulator yeah so it's a as you guessed it's a visual impairment simulator app Make adjustment to the image processing functions, enhancing the explanation, the blur issue. Uh, so it updated the JavaScript, uh, but it's not clear if it's a bunch of uh, templates. Have to check. Uh, let's do the code bit by bit. Uh, navigation, media devices, video true. Yeah, that should be. Why there is a play button? Not sure there is. No, it's not a button. It's just play event listener. Set up the video stream. A uh, function draw. Why is this? Function. Okay, it's a bit odd. Why is this function inside? the previous bit the linter should be checking all this stuff so i should uh, don't need to so i don't need to deal with that anyway function draw yeah that function was uh, simplified then we have apply effects okay um this one 
it's returning image data that's okay okay we have this tunnel effect which is new it's not currently being used apply soft uh, tunnel vision okay so that uh, blur effect is not there there's a the template and then we handling our effects expanding the explanation of the html it's not really an expansion and what about the blur contrast sensitivity modifies image contrast to mimic glaucoma or amd affecting the perception of light and dark peripheral vision loss simulates conditions like advanced glaucoma by reducing peripheral vision creating a tunnel vision effect color saturation Adjust color intensity to simulate color vision deficiencies such as dotanopia or protanopia. Yeah, I was having trouble with the with the two cameras connected. I don't think it's the cameras themselves, it's the USB. I checked out the bionicles.com, please go do so. It's a lot of interesting tools and you'll be supporting the project this way. Okay, let's run the tool again. Stuffed something up. The video doesn't work. Let's revert back to what we. Okay, now it's working again. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. What on earth? No idea what just happened. Let's go back to GPT 4. Ask it politely to fix. Should we use another way to go about it? Okay, shall we do that? It's a bit lazy. Uh, this is actually, it's it's not just a derogatory term. It's actually a term to describe an uh, LLF. <laughs> it's a technical, technical term. It's when it's uh, refusing to, to do something you ask for. Uh, so we're asking how to fix the... Road. So we do this bit uh, to fix the blur. Apparently, we need to change something in uh, styling. So let's do that. Uh, okay, let's see. So white date canvas filters. Let's go from the bottom. Uh, we don't currently have that function. It's a new function. And when do we call this function apply effects it's returning image data okay it's the draw function quest animation frame draw so we're replacing all that Let's see if it works how is it managing to stuff something up so badly to revert back revert revert it's a problem, 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 problem. Okay, then it haven't changed. So I don't know why it's reducing it. And then we have Navigator set up the video stream. That should be the same. Okay, function draw. No idea why. Why is this it's messing? It's messing with me, is it? Okay, if video, video is ready, have enough data, context, it's the same, let image data go, canvas if the app, image data, apply, effects, okay, we're we restructuring the whole thing, okay, sorry for that, but uh, I don't seem to understand how to integrate this code, a, can you regenerate the whole JavaScript code with the necessary updates? Here's what I currently have. Sorry, obviously not ideal prompt, but uh, I'm yeah, just having trouble integrating. Okay, let's see. That bit is the same. We have an event uh, listener. I think that's for the whole uh, application. A set up the video stream that should be the same function draw now this one get removed did remove all that into another function i would assume it will be in update canvas did uh, no i don't know quest animation frame okay apply effects is the same 
a color saturation okay there's only one way uh, to know if it's working or not it's that bit doesn't look right does it we have about 100 lines of uh, javascript code the new things on the 80 so it's already a bit suspicious okay the blur okay blur is working contrast okay blur blur is nice blur is working what's up there's something with the default uh, settings something with the default settings my gpu is doing like extra extra hours of work that's not cool that's not nice and uh, one good thing about the uh, gpt4 is that you can upload images uh, is this the complete javascript something seemed to be missing also perhaps the default values which we have in the html code provided below might need adjustment see reference image there's like too much blur to begin with should the no don't use python why are we using python yeah now because i asked once to generate the whole uh, code now it's regenerating it again surprisingly without any templates so this is where it's not being lazy no there are templates but that's okay supposedly i don't have to change that bit clear the update canvas filters function is now being called on the input event of the sliders to update the canvas in real time as the user moves the sliders yeah but that was the case already the pixel based effects for tunnel vision and color saturation will be applied in the apply effects function which you have already implemented in your existing code okay the default application of the css filters is now done right after setting up the video stream and before the drawing loop begins okay so we have blur, blur brightness contrast tunnel saturation we have setting up the device that should be the same okay and we have initial a application then we have the event listeners well we didn't have event listeners before that's a bit odd okay then we have the draw what's this apply pixel based effects we already have it context function apply effects has the return image data and update canvas filters you find the blur effect is too strong you might want to adjust the range of the blur is like the different initial values problem is a blur slider it's going from 0 to 10 with steps of initial value of 0.1 the idea is when they all go to um bah, 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 bah. that's something is up <laughs> it's one of the silly silly mistakes that they make me think we should move on to the next tool but we'll just give it another last go clear clear it's fine because clear meant to clear the text box but then it's also putting clear the word in the text box clear clear now it's better clear okay problem still remains there's this gray window overlay the on top of the video footage how do we make it go away this is currently the code that we have and the image provide that uh, illustrating the problem at hand how do we fix the code and while it's generating go visit finalchaos.com there's a lot of interesting tools let me know what you think you'll be supporting the project this way from the image you've shared it looks like the canvas where the video should be visible is showing a gray overlay making it difficult to see the video clearly the gray overlay could be caused by several factors css filters misapplication if the default value for brightness or contrast is set incorrectly it can cause the video to look washed out incorrect pixel manipulation if the pixel data isn't being manipulated correctly, it can lead to uniform overlay effect.
Canvas context issues. There might be issues with how the canvas context is being handled, especially if it's not cleared properly before drawing the new frame. You're already clearing the canvas and the image is there. Not using that function at all. Yeah, it was a bit of an odd one. Context clearing. The line context. Clear rect, zero, zero, canvas. Width, canvas. Height has been added to ensure that the canvas is cleared before drawing each new frame. This prevents any previous image data from affecting the current frame. Initial filter update. Ensure that the initial filter update is called after the stream is set up to ensure that the canvas is styled with the correct initial values. Event listeners. Event listeners are now set with an input for immediate reaction to slider adjustments. Hey, this is what I currently have as my CSS. Uh, can we check and uh, make the necessary corrections? Check for additional filters. The gray overlay might be caused by the CSS filter property being applied to the canvas. Ensure that the default values for filters like brightness and contrast are sensible. Values below 100% for brightness can make the image darker, and values above 100% for contrast can wash out the image. Canvas size. If the canvas dimensions, width and height, are not set correctly or if the canvas is scaled oddly, it can affect the displayed content. Your CSS looks good in terms of setting the width to 80% of its container and setting a max width. Check for global styles. Sometimes, global styles can unintentionally affect elements. Ensure there are no additional styles in your CSS that might affect the canvas. Considering the CSS you've posted, there doesn't seem to be an issue that would cause a gray overlay. However, if the filter property in your JavaScript is not set correctly by default, it could lead to a gray overlay. Given that the CSS seems correct for the purpose of displaying the video on a canvas and styling sliders, it's more likely that the issue lies in the JavaScript where the video is being processed or in the initial values set for the sliders which influence the CSS filters. Ensure that the default values for brightness and contrast are set to give a clear image, like so. Yeah, potentially the contrast, yeah, it's the default values of the contrast that was the problem. We have the default values seem okay. Now color, yeah, color saturation. This will uh, adjust the color intensity to simulate color vision deficiencies such as, ooh, I wouldn't even. Deutanopia. Deuteropia. Say again. Deutanopia. Yeah, that one. Protanopia. <laughs> Let's uh, double check the color. Yeah, it's one of those things where if you, I don't know if it's a proper test or not, but it's one of those things where you don't see the number in there or you do see the number, then you have a problem <laughs> kind of thing. It's like, yeah, so I have the color situation we have. Why is this? Yeah, the explanation. It's a bit messy. Okay, we have the peripheral vision loss. We still have it too sharp. We actually meant to be fixing that. A contrast sensitivity. Contrast sensitivity. Modifies image contrast to mimic glaucoma or AMD, affecting the perception of light and dark. Brightness. Simulates cataracts by adjusting the visual brightness, mimicking glare sensitivity. That's not fun. Blur. Adjusts the level of blurriness, simulating myopia or hyperopia. Increasing the blur increases the effect. Okay, it's looking better now. I mean, worse. Uh, yeah, sorry for the pun. Um, pun. Hey, can we provide a better explanation at the bottom of the page? We would like an overview of the whole tool, a separate overview of the different parameters. Hey, make sure they are in order of the parameters appearing as controllers on the front page and give a broader context for this application and how it could be used, what it could be used for, and uh, any uh, science behind it. Ah, we also wanted to change the peripheral vision thing. It was at the default. Default is important. Could add more blur to the default thing. A value. Let's make it four. 
Let's make it three. <laughs> let's make it two. So, no, let's make it four. Okay, now we also get yeah, brightness up and down, contrast and city. Yeah, this thing, color situation. Let's do defaults again. A peripheral vision doesn't look realistic. And um, also peripheral vision again. Uh, I think we already covered that, but uh, I haven't implemented the code. The peripheral vision doesn't really look uh, realistic because the circle is too sharp. I think it's uh, sharp like that. How can we make it look uh, more realistic? Overview of Vision Impairment Simulator. Tool purpose. Our vision impairment simulator offers a real-time experience of various vision impairments. Designed for educational and awareness purposes, it enables users to gain insight into the daily visual challenges faced by individuals with vision impairment. By adjusting various parameters, the simulator can replicate conditions such as myopia, hyperopia, cataracts, glaucoma, and color vision deficiencies. This tool can be instrumental for medical professionals, caregivers, and designers aiming to create inclusive spaces and interfaces. Simulator parameters. Blur simulates the lack of sharpness in vision due to myopia, nearsightedness, or hyperopia, farsightedness. Sliding this control increases or decreases the level of blurriness, replicating the difficulty in focusing on objects. Brightness. Adjust the visual brightness to mimic the effect of cataracts, where the lens of the eye becomes clouded. This slider can help demonstrate the challenges with glare sensitivity and reduced clarity. Contrast sensitivity alters the image contrast to represent conditions like glaucoma or age-related macular degeneration, AMD, which lead to a reduced ability to perceive contrasts between light and dark areas, affecting depth perception and detail recognition. Peripheral vision loss simulates tunnel vision, a symptom of advanced glaucoma or retinitis pigmentosa, where peripheral vision diminishes, leaving only central vision intact. This slider controls the extent of the visual field. Color saturation changes the color intensity to simulate color vision deficiencies, commonly known as color blindness, including deuteranopia or protonopia, making it difficult to distinguish certain colors. Application context. This simulator is a valuable tool in various settings. Educational, for teaching students about the impact of vision impairments. Professional training, in healthcare, for empathy training, and in design for creating accessible content. Personal use, for individuals or family members of those with vision impairments to better understand their experience. The science behind it. The simulator is grounded in the principles of human visual perception. It modifies visual stimuli in ways that mimic the physiological effects of common eye conditions. By adjusting the parameters, one can experience how visual acuity, field of view, color perception, and contrast sensitivity are affected by these conditions, providing a window into the world as seen through different eyes. Ensure this content follows the sequence of the controls on the front page for logical flow and ease of understanding. It should provide a clear and comprehensive context for the product's application and use cases, as well as a brief touch on the scientific foundation behind the simulation of each condition. Yeah, blur brightness, uh, contrast sensitivity, peripheral vision loss, uh, color saturation. This probably should be plenty. Hey, we'll get the GitHub Copilot to turn this. Hey, can you turn this into HTML? text we do read everything the bot is uh, generating don't you worry it's taking some time that's okay while it's generating it's probably worth mentioning again to please go and check out bodychaos.com uh, all the tools we ever created in the last uh, year or so are on the website more recent or on top and you will be supporting the project this way don't forget to provide your feedback I need a title simulator here we have blur you can increase reduce anything you like let's reduce it for a sec brightness brightness saturation a contrast sensitivity peripheral vision loss ah and color saturation 
contrast situation, color situation. Yeah, not to be confused. <laughs> I don't know. And we have this uh, description. We already read it. I will read it again uh, when publishing this tool. But the other thing is. To make the peripheral vision loss effect more realistic, you want to create a gradual fade to black at the edges, rather than a hard cutoff. This simulates how actual peripheral vision loss would appear to someone with this condition, where the loss of vision is more like a fade than a sharp edge. We can achieve this with a radial gradient that transitions smoothly from fully visible in the center to black at the edges. You need to adjust the apply effects function in your JavaScript to include a gradient that simulates this fade. Here is an updated version of your apply effects function to achieve a more realistic peripheral vision loss effect. JavaScript function apply effects image data. Const data equals image data dot data. Const width height equals image data. Const center x width wash 2. Const center y equals height wash 2. Const max radius equals math dot squirt center x center x plus center y center y. Maximum distance from center to corner for let i equals 0. i data dot length i equals 4. Let yeah, x equals i force and width. Let y math the floor i v fourth width. Let dx x minus center x. Let dy equals y dash center y. Let distance math the su art dx dy dy. I don't like this. It's like the reader has a really good voice. I don't know. Let me know what you think. There's um, uh, other voices that uh, can be used. Uh, open AI voices, voices. But the problem with it is that it's reading the whole thing, including the code. Whereas in this updated function. Over it. Radial distance calculates the distance from the center of the canvas to the current pixel as a fraction of the maximum distance. Edge softness determines how gradual the fade to black will be. You can tweak this value to get the desired softness. A lower value means a softer edge. Visibility computes the fade effect based on the radial distance. It fades to black as the radial distance approaches the value set by the tunnel slider. We then apply this visibility to each color channel, effectively dimming the pixel as it gets further from the center. Remember to adjust edge softness to get the gradient effect that looks best for your application. Test this updated function with your simulator to see the more realistic peripheral vision loss effect. It is much better. Uh, 0.9. So I assume if it's 1, it's with. I expect that. Then is it pixels? Uh, let's do 1. Um, should we explain the default settings? Like what condition would that be? If you have any comments or best practices for this kind of stuff to let me know hey what you think and now let's uh, see you next time bye don't forget to check the website see you later